let's talk about the hydroboration oxidation reaction. Now there's three special things about this reaction. One of them that it's anti-Markovnikov. The second it's an addition and the third there's no formation of a carbocation. Now you might say what does that all mean but I'm sure as this video goes on, if of course you watch this whole video, you'll start to understand these little things that make this reaction unique. So let's start off with a cyclohexane ring with a methyl group here and a, and a double bond here. So what happens first is that this BH3 attaches itself from, this, from one side, this whole thing, and imagine this BH3 coming from the top to this double bond, or it could come from the bottom, whichever one you prefer. So it attaches itself in such a way that the hydrogen and the boron both attach. Now the cool thing about this is that boron is actually less electronegative than hydrogen. And that makes this hydrogen partial negative and this partial positive. Now what does that mean exactly? Well, if, what that means is that since this is partial negative, these electrons are going to go to here. Let me draw that in a different color so you can see it better. These electrons over here actually go over there and this these electrons from this double bond actually go to this boron. So what happens is you get this let me change the color here the product you get from this is you get let me draw that better you get well that's not necessarily better you get this product and remember, since it attacked from the bottom, well, we're assuming that for this example it's attacking from the top. Since it attacked from the top, this methyl group is forced to become dashed, and the incoming hydrogen is wedged. So you have this wedge, and remember, since it's syn addition, they, this boron and this hydrogen both came from the top, the BH2 will become wedged as well. I'll just write BH2 here. So this is the product of this first step. Now what does this tell us? First, it's anti-Markovnikov because of the difference in electronegativities. Boron is actually less electronegative than the hydrogen. It's syn addition because this whole thing attacked from the top. And there's no formation of a carbocation because you make this intermediate. There's no, there's no chance that it can make a carbocation. Therefore, there can be no methyl or hydride shifts if you're familiar with those things. Now the second part of this reaction is the H2O2 OH negative step and that and what that basically means is that the BH2 will ultimately become an alcohol. So right here we'll write H2O2 let me write that better H2O2 OH or HO. And then what essentially that means is that this BH2 will become this OH. Now it won't go into the mechanism right now because it's rather complicated. And I don't think you really learn anything new besides how to draw arrows and figures properly. It's really complicated so I won't go into it unless someone requests it. So remember this hydrogen is is wedged and this Remember, this BH2 will ultimately become an alcohol. So this is the overall product of this BH, BH3, H2O2, OH negative reaction. You get the OH on the least substituted side of the double bond.